Hello, thanks for tuning in again. As promised, I'm back to share with you how I created a sublimation print for an earring template. I have already scanned the earring template into Silhouette Studio software. I just placed it on my scanner and I scanned it into the software. I laid a dark piece of uh, scrap paper behind it so that it can, um, I will be able to see the actual template. I have just completed a video prior to this one to show you just exactly how I pulled this into the Silhouette Studio software. It was a face mask pattern but same concept. What I like to do is kind of um, show you how I clean this up a bit. Let's see. Make sure you can see this whole thing. On this side over here is the knife tool. I could just go right over to the trace panel and, and trace this out. But I'm going to first just clean it up a little bit this time. I didn't show you that in the first video but I'm going to do it this time. So I, I clicked on the knife tool and then I will go over here and just slice. There's a piece that I can let go. Hit my right click mouse and click delete. I'll slice the bottom. Same thing. I will click my right click mouse and delete. So I will have this ready. Now I will go over to my trace panel. After I move this over so you can see the whole thing. And I'm using um, Silhouette Studio Business Edition. And I believe that you can do a lot of these things in the regular Silhouette Studio software as well. Before I go any further, I want to click the Save button and save this um, into my earrings file. And I'll call this um, today's 30th. save that. So over in the trace, I'm going to close this out so you can see what I'm doing. Over here in the trace icon, I'll click on that and I will trace by color. Select that. This time I'm going to trace the white portion out. I will bring the tolerance up just a little. Try to clean it up a bit. See what happens if I click on all areas. That will get all of it out. Now I'll click trace and detach. Now I can click on this white area and move it around and it did nothing. I won't panic. I will go back and hit trace by color. Come back over and I'll hit the dark portion. And I will click on all areas. And you see the speckles there. I want to clean it up more. I don't want those in my trace. So I'll trace more and I'll hit trace and detach. Now I have traced it. I can right click mouse and delete that portion. I would like to get um, that circle trace also but let me clean up my work area here. You can see the little divots that are left in from tracing. You just want to clean those up off of your work area. Hit delete. Come back over and I will trace one more time. Hopefully just one more time. I want to trace that little circle if I can. Bring it down just a little bit. That didn't work. I'll redo that. Let me go up here hit undo. Sometimes that doesn't always work, but I will keep trying. Just clicking on the undo button. I'm going to click this again. Trace by color. Maybe if I click the white this time it may work. I 
that's a little too much. The trace and detach. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let me clean this area all the way up. You see all of those? Somebody's going to tell me in the comments section what you call those. I'm going to delete that. And now I have my earring blank. And I know it's the right size because I can tell it matches this. And this was one that I did previously and I've already used it for printing. So I know that it's a good size for me. The next thing I want to do is I want to go over to my files and find the actual earring design that I want to make here. I have a face mask also that I've already completed, but I'm going to show you I'm going to match them out. So in the earring file, let's try this. I think this is the one I had, Celicia. Yeah, that's her. Well, I got to figure out how I'm going to do it with the pink in there. Okay, I know what to do. So this is the file that I want. Let me let you see her. Let me go over here to the, um, this is called the open field pattern panel. And I will click on this to get to the field panel. And let me just make sure you can see that portion. Yeah. So I'm in the open field panel here and that's where all the different, um, designs are that I've pulled into uh, from my computer files into Silhouette and I have this earring highlighted and I can change the angle of the Afro Queen who's on this file by rotating the pattern I see she's face up but she needs to be smaller so I can take the scale and scale her down smaller so I can do that or what I do want to do is I really wanted to do her a little different because I have a face mask that has a pretty design on it. So this is how I can make the design. So I have this. Let me delete that. I'm going over here to the, let me make sure you can see it. Right here where you can retrieve a shape. I want a square. And I'm just going to make a square here. And with this square, I want to go and grab. I am going to use the background that I have in my patterns. I'm just going to click on that background right here. Sometimes when my machine starts moving slowly like this, that means I need to go over and save, or I should have saved a long time ago. It wasn't having it, so let me hit save. And I'll go back over there again and give that a try. And this open field pattern, panel, the field pattern, I can go down, because I can put any pattern I want in that box. Remember that. Any pattern I want. And I can go down to scale and scale it out. Any pattern I want to put in that box. Remember that. But what I want is this one. Where did it go? I like this one. And I'm going to scale it out like that and now I'm going to go and get the this um, afro girl again and I need to clean her up I need to take the white from the background of her Let me move these over just group them together and move them over because I want to add it in here and make that the background so I'm clicking on her and I will go to the trace panel and trace it out by color. Trace the white out of it. All areas. Trace and detach. Sometimes you have to do it twice to get everything out. 
So let me go back to trace by color again. Try all areas again. Trace and detach. Nope. So sometimes you have to do it one by one. Do that again for the other earring. I'm moving a little faster because I'm going to run out of time here. I really want to make all of these under 15 minutes. I'm just highlighting all of that and clicking delete. So now I have her in here and I want her to be smaller than this because I have a plan to put her in that earring. There it is. And I want to have a little more pink than uh, that I have there. So let's do that. Go back up to this panel and I'm going to pan up hit the pan pattern the little circle here I can move up so I can have a little more pink behind her and then scale it out some more right now I'm going to highlight both of them together and I'm going to group them after I group them let me hit save and I'm going to save I'm actually going to save just this box so I have the this square with the pretty queen in there I'm going to Save as selection to the hard drive, and I'm going to put it in my little earring file. And this is going to be Afro Queen Pink, so that I can find it. And I'll need to save it as a PNG. Doesn't have to be PNG, but that, that's what works for me. And I'm going to save it at 400 resolution. And I'm moving a little fast because I'm going to run out of time. <laughs> so now I have that saved as a file. Actually, I can do anything I want with it, right? What I'm going to do right now is go to that file. And I want to... Let me refresh and find the file. queen earring pink so now that I have that file open I'm just going to highlight the file and drag it into that earring you see that I drag it into the earring do that again one more time real quick I'm just clicking on undo undo making sure I bring it down where you can see it I'm going to the file and I'm just taking that actual file and I'm just dragging it over into the earring now that it's in the earring I can go I'm still in this gallery panel here and I can scale it out or oh, I can make it smaller or larger but I want it just like that I want to pan it down and now I have my earring I'm going to hit well I want it a little bit bigger so when I put it on a heat press print it, put it on a heat press it'll look just like that and I'm going to hit duplicate and I have my two earrings and I can just group them together and print them for sublimation print next quickly I want to grab the actual face mask that we worked with in the previous video the template I'm just going to drag it over Taking a minute. And I can ungroup that. And I can grab my pretty Afro file again and just drag it right into that template. It's there and I can scale it down and I have a face mask ready to go. Just duplicate it like I did the other one. And I can print that template, you know, take the pan pattern and move it around. I showed more detail of this in the previous video. So this is how I do that. And it works out fine. I can also duplicate and have it ready to go. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And come back for more videos soon. Thank you so much.